You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it. It is uh, much appreciated. How much? A ton, because every view helps and it uh, keeps me going, making videos. This is uh, something I got in a Mexican grocery store. Never seen it before. It intrigued me because I thought it was just straws. But inside the straws, it says gummy candy made from real gelatin. I'm not sure that's a good thing, but there's 20 of them. I couldn't read the name. I think it's, it says product, product of P-I, that's either L-L-O-L-I-N-A or P-I-C-C-O-L-I-N-A in quotations. And there's a character there like licking his lips, ready to try. And it says Saboras, Saboras Tipo Agua, A-G-U-A, Agua, I don't know. And there's a name down here, but it's kind of like they sealed the bag. They oh, there it is. So, gummy tube, I believe that says. I don't know. Here's all the nutritional facts at a glance up here. Can you see that? And then, of course, there's the ingredients. Where it's from. I don't see anything about the flavor. Oh, water flavors. It says water. Tutti Frutti, Mandarin, Pineapple, Lemon, Soursop. I might have to Google sour sauce. I'm gonna do that now. I know what, what is S O U R S O P. Is that is that something I should know? S O U R S O P. Go. Oh, okay. It's a plant. It's a fruit of blank and blank. I can't read it. A broadleaf flowering evergreen tree. You ever seen that in a flavor? I don't know, maybe it's popular. Well, let's just see what we have. Let's sort out the straw. How about that? I'm talking too much. You want to see them, I want to see them, but my my mind just goes on a tangent. Okay. Oh, there's some there. Little piece, little pieces of it. So it does not look, mm, I smell a heavy sugar smell. Okay, so the green must be the soursop. Oh, what am I doing? I wanted to grab this one. Okay, so the tubes. How long are the tubes? Oh, look at that. They are approximately eight and a half inches long. That one's a little shorter. They must come off this big machine and just chop, 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 chop. Because look, like all the ends are losing the little overspray or over squish. Right, so. Tutti Frutti. My guess is that Mandarin would be orange. That's Tutti Frutti. That's Mandarin. That's Pineapple. No, that says Lemon. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's start over. Tutti Frutti, Mandarin would be orange, so there must be two flavors in these. Some of them are pineapple and some of them are lemon. That's what I'm thinking. Wait, there's Tutti Frutti, Mandarin, Pina, wait, there's six. Yeah, there's a comma. All right, see, I see Tutti Frutti, comma, Mandarin, comma, Pina, comma, limon, there's a comma. Okay, so then let's see. Tutti Frutti, comma, Mandarin, comma, Pineapple, comma, Lemon, comma, and Sour Sop. One, oh, I was reading the wrong one. One, two, three. Yeah, there's got to be some duplicate in here. Or this has to be, I'm guessing this is the Sour Sop, right? No, the green. I'm totally confused. All right, how am I going to taste them? All right, I'm lost. Tutti Frutti, Mandarin Orange, Pineapple, Lemon, Soursop. How would you figure out what is what? All right, let's try the first one. This is Tutti Frutti. Now I'm guessing, it, it, once you start squishing, it squishes out. I've never seen these. Do you bite it? All right, I'm gonna bite it. Oh, 
Okay, does not come out eat. Oh, there you go. Look. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's tutti fruity. So once you start pushing, it's hard to get out. What's the trick? It's good. But it does not want to easily extract from the tube. What's the technique? My guess is you just go a little bit at a time. You cannot push a lot out. If you take a little bit like this, it squishes right out, see? So then you just keep going. Mm -hmm. Ooh, now I'm taking more. So look at that consistency. It's like a firm... You know when you make pudding and you have that skin on the top? It kind of reminds me of that. It's a little thicker, chewier. All right, before I go any further, let me grab some dishware here. I want to squirt some of this out with different flavors and colors so we can analyze it better. Okay. Let me just take some more of this. I think you could do either end. So it's sticky, see? Now you can't, oh, I guess you could. It's hard to do a whole wad. But like I said, if you do a little bit, You understand what's going on here? It's a totally new candy to me. I've never experienced this or anything like it. Okay, there's that one. Let's try this orange one. So just do a little piece. Pop the end. You kind of squish and push. Squish and push. That should be the motto on the bag. Squish and push. You pinch it, and then you push it. Okay, so there's that color. It's interesting. Wouldn't you find this candy interesting? All right, let's try the orange. My guess is that is the mandarin. Right, mandarin orange? No? I'm going to say, yeah, it has mandarin flavor, but the flavor is not super strong. That's for certain. Okay, so I'm getting a little N. The little N is sugar. And I don't know if it's dried, but it's very crispy. And I like that. Pinch, push. Mmm. Yeah, definitely mandarin orange. All right, so we'll leave those there so you can kind of see. It's almost like a sausage casing. It's your gummy sausage casing. All right, let's try this white one. I'm curious. So this is crispy. Pinch and push. Okay. Let's move these out of the way. Let's get a pile of going. Yeah, I hate to say what it's really like. It's kind of like, a, you know, when you... Mm -hmm. What does that remind you of? Let me bring the lighting down a little bit. And I'm going to zoom in on the pile. Pinch. Push. Once it starts, it's easy to get it out. You feel it. You break it off inside the tube. Okay, so I think so far, yeah, Tutti Frutti, Mandarin. Let's try this one. I'm going to pinch off the end with the crispy. Mm. It's not pineapple. It might be. I don't know. Boop. 
you probably just pinch it onto your finger. I don't know. Someone help me. Help me. All right, now let's do a green one because I know something with the yellows is a little off. Pinch and push. Pinch. You feel it once it breaks its way off of the the larger gummy. Hmm, maybe this will be a new trend. Maybe other people will find this now. Come on, let's try to promote this video. Please promote it as the new trend. The gummy stick trend. Okay, let's try. Again, I'll do it from this end. You kind of pop it and push it. Mm, Dr. Pimple Popper would love this. I don't know what that is. Too much sugar now. Right, I hate to do this, but I'm going to. I'll do it on the next few. I want to just kind of move it around to show you how sticky it is. All right, let's try some of these yellows. Now, mind you, the flavor is good. As to exactly what it is, my mouth is gone. Pinch and... Come on, break, break the seal. There we go. What I want to do is just pick it all up and squish it together. Now, I hate to say it's satisfying, but it's pretty unique. Is that the lemon? So I guess that's why I'm confused. L-I-M-O-N, is that lemon? Yeah. Mm. It's good, whatever it is. So it's chewy in a way, because it is gummy. These look to be the exact same color. Maybe I didn't get all the flavors. I don't know. I find it very confusing. I wish they just put a little pineapple on there, something on there, so you know exactly what you're getting. I mean, I'm pretty good with flavors and telling what they are. These are hard. Let's see if I pinch further back. Okay, pinch and push. It's a lot of work, but ooh, there we go. Pinch and push. I wonder if there's some special technique. Like if you curl it. You know, keep curling it like a toothpaste stick. But no, this is really hard to push out further back unless you pinch a little bit off. All right, so that one tastes the same as the other one. Well, my hands are totally sticky. Pinch, push, pinch, push, come on. See, I'm stretching the tube. Overall flavor is really good. It's not overly sweet. The ends are sweet. I wonder if you could surgically just cut one down the tube. Look, they match. Let's see, let's peel now. Peel the gummy out. 
Will it come out as one long gummy? No. Let's squish it out. Now I could squish it out. See that? Oh yeah, this is kind of more of a more of playing than it is eating. Look, that's what I wanted. Once it starts. There, now you can manage that whole thing. Ooh, is it sticky? Look. Ooh, it's like a worm. Ooh, that was fun. I think I want to do that to a pink one. I don't know why. I'm finding this quite fun. Look, right up like, like you're cutting fabric. Perfect. Or wrapping paper, you know how you can get that perfect right down the edge. Okay, we're going for the whole kitten caboodle. Look at that. I did it. I've extracted it. How fun is that? Ooh, my fingers are so sticky. Well, there's one orange. I might as well just... Oh, let me do a yellow. I'll save that. Let's extract a yellow. Yeah, let's see if we can get that cut. Perfect. 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 Ooh, yeah. Can I bring the camera up a little bit more and out? I don't know. Yeah, there we go. I'm not even worrying now. It's stretching so nice. Ooh, I can combine two flavors. And twist. Ooh, it's it's contacted the green. Stop, stop. There we go. Ooh, sticky, sticky. Here we go. Twist, twist, twist. Pretty. Pretty candy. Pretty twisty candy. Sticky twisty candy. Here we go. Let's bite this sticky kisty kisty. That's a lot. I'm guessing the consistency will bother some people. It's like really squishy. It's almost like egg, egg white. Let's just play. Let's just see. Can we squish all this together into one big lumpy? Yes, we can. Oh, how disgusting. There. It's an everlasting gobstopper. Look, I made an everlasting gobstocker. Stocker. Stopper. Well, overall, I want to say this is a fun candy. It's tasty. And it's made with real gelatin. I pick it up in this obscure, remote Mexican grocery store. Uh, and I'm happy I did. I don't know what the name of it is. I don't know. Couldn't read much of the packaging. Couldn't tell the flavoring. But for funness, it's uh, it's pretty up there. I made an everlasting, everlasting, everlasting gobstopper. Too much sugar, maybe. And then you're able to twist it, pull it out of the tube, and enjoy it. And it's sticky, so expect that. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Uh, pretty crazy, isn't it? As always, later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.